Come on, everybody, now. We're gonna do it, everybody, now. Welcome to the Space Jam. Space Jam. the Space Jam. Space Jam. Brent, Brent, you got to go for it. Yeah. All right. All right. Go get the slam, but you want a jam. <laughs> get the space jam. <laughs> we, guys, we actually have a very exciting news at CIB is uh, for our um, YouTube channel is we have actually, you know, we always talk about being sponsored by talking about stuff like that. Nah, dog, that's nothing. We are not sponsored by Jock Jams, so before the beginning of every video, we'll be some Jock Jams playing. Jock <laughs> Jam! And come on, is it train? And ride. So, guys, we're playing Mega Man X2. <laughs> I, since John Tron left Game Grumps, I gotta be Wait, the was John that a Tron real thing? Game. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Oh, was I didn't think that was. I thought that was just them trolling. <laughs> nope. No, he really left. No, he, he left. For no, that's them trolling. No, I'm serious. No, I don't believe anything he, he said. He left. Ever since uh, there's a new double guy. jump, I don't believe it. There's a new guy. No, like Dan a, or something like that. There's a new guy. Seriously, they, Mike Tyson's <laughs> punch out, they put it up. There's a new guy. He's also fat, apparently, according to his. <laughs> he's also fat. According to his no, picture. No, he's not fat at all. Oh, really? Why do they make his face look so fat then in the picture? Because he has kind of a big face. Hey guys, how about them troops? Um, yeah, this. <laughs> oh hey, the boss. Sorry is for there. talking through that extremely long boss. That, long, look at that. Large boss took one second. There you go. Anyway, so wait, he did. John really did. Leave. Okay, yeah, did. you are not. You are. Look it up. No. Like go to, go to go to V and yeah. After we're done with this, just that, look it up. Just just type that feel when no John and post a picture of John Tron. You'll get five hundred comments. Why? Why did he leave? Because the video he's making his own. Maybe? I don't know, man. From what Trevor posted, apparently they had some problems internally or something like that. I don't know what you want to believe, but Aww. I mean, they were. To be fair yeah, to everyone in the entire world. John did sing more than he talked about video games. I know I oftentimes don't talk about video games, but Wait, he's. It, I talk about video games more than 50% of the time. John would just be like. I remember watching one part of Sonic 06 and he was like, hey, so I, uh, I just went to Broadway and saw a soft Broadway thing. And then finally, it was like, Roll up Broadway show! That's how they sing it! And you're like, cool. You're like, yes, that's how they sing it. So. It got dark. Anyway. There's weather effects in this. Oh. Anyway, Jock Jams. There's other awesome Space Jams. Are, uh, uh, it, you know what? We're just we're sponsored by Space Jam. It's not even Jock Jams. It's just when did that movie come out? Like early nineties? <laughs> it's yeah. like mid nineties. It's still cool though. Just because like if it was only Michael Jordan, you'd be like, yeah. But it also has Charles Barkley, based Charles Barkley, and I mean seriously. Brandon, did you see I, I picked up at, uh, when I go to Leesport Farmer's Market to look for video games, I found this one lady who had toys who had a bunch of original, like, 1995 Space Jam toys in their original box, and I was like, how much? And there were, like, eight of them, and she was like, ten dollars, young man, and I was like, what, for one? She was like, no, all of them. I was like, did you just, like, I was like, I was like, make it eight, and she was like, okay. So I got them for ten. You could have easily got them for ten. It doesn't doesn't even matter. I don't know if they're worth anything. I assume they're not. It's every, you know, does every toy that's no. But they're cool to have, and, like, there's, like, it's like the Muggsy Bugs version, and the freaking... Michael Jordan version. It's like, okay, okay. Also, Trevor, back to videos. Yes. Video gaming. Uh, is this a 100% run? Yes. Originally, I was going to do just a normal run where it was 100%, but there's also you can get zero parts in this. I rerouted it, and I'm doing zero parts this time, so it's going to be a lot harder than it was before. Okay. Good. And as we all know, X2 is the second hardest X game behind X3. Have you ever heard of X3? It's that really rare one. Yeah, just the SNES ones are really hard. Wait, which ones did we played? X4, X5, right? X4, X5, and now X2. Okay. Did you, um... Did you know that X3 came out on the PC? <laughs> yes, it did. Somebody asked and me... It, if and it came out for PS1, too. It did not come out for PS1. I think in Japan. In Japan, yeah. But not... not. But it did. Somebody was... Quest- like, somebody was like, Hey, uh, I see you have X3. Do you have it for PC? I was like, Oh, man, I've literally never seen that. And I was like, it's probably worth less because people don't collect PC. And they were like, do you have it for PS1? I was like, I absolutely know for a fact that did not come out for PS1. In Japan, yes. Because Japan's crazy for Capcom. Oh, <laughs> blue death. <coughs> crazy! White death. All of the Super Nintendo ones, I don't know why, but every single 
successor made the explosions more hardcore. Like X three, like it explodes for like a full ten minutes per <laughs> per death. Like most of the left play will be just guys. I beat exploding. a boss. So I'm gonna go go eat lunch. Yeah, I'll be back in a little. Off to Wheel Gator, that whatever feel, his name is. I don't know any of the name of the bosses. Is this guys, guys. I think uh, it's Wheel Gator. I think the only one I have them memorized for is X1 and some for X4. What's his name? Wheel Gator. Wheel Gator. <laughs> Get it on. I mean, once once they did X and they changed them from man to other stuff, it's harder to remember. Like, on Mega Man 6, there's a boss called Centaur Man. And he's literally a centaur, and he's a man, so you're like, that boss's name is probably Centaur Man, and you'll be right most of the time. <laughs> okay, this would here's, be a, here's a trick that's gonna be... I hope I can... Okay. No. What's the trick? I wanna see a trick. I wanna see a it's trick. It's hard. It seems difficult. There we go. Oh. That didn't take too long. How are you... Is that <laughs> how you're supposed to do no, it? No, you're supposed to get the, the um, leg upgrade first, which allows you to air dash. Uh, that's neat. But you can do it that way. And it's not even that hard. So this is the first X game where you get the arm upgrade, like, within the first, like, five minutes. Also, I don't really like the arm upgrade in this game. Whoa. You, you get the shoot, like the double, though. You get the shoe, like, double shots, but you stop your momentum while shooting them. So... Oh, actually, you like it physically stops you. You stop you. It, yeah. Like it stops. It's like it's really strong and it's awesome for bosses. Like it's amazing for bosses. Do, um, you, do you even use the boss's weaknesses in this one? Yes, I do. Dude, look at that. Get away from guy. me. Oh, look at this he trick. Really wants you. Do you uh, see that? No, that was awesome. Yeah. Well, so you just get hit by that on purpose. Yeah. That's so cool. I damage boost into the spike. How, how are you cool. supposed to do that? I think it's, again, the leg upgrade. Hmm. But I'm actually not sure. I haven't played this game normally for so long. <laughs> you guys liking that music? Assuming that... You can hear it. You can hear it. I think, I think we have a setup that you can hear it. I hope. If not, go down the... Don't, don't download the OST official soundtrack. Yeah, this soundtrack is really good. The soundtrack. The X games are kind of weird because they, like, did, like, MIDI soundtracks, kind of, like, 16-bit stuff. And they did, like, all, like, guitar, like, sound effects. Dude, I love it. It makes sense because, I mean, Japanese is called Rock Man, which is Rock and Roll Man, so... Rock and Roll. I love when MIDI stuff is done with real instruments. Like, they take real instruments, but they make it MIDI. Like, so like Saga Frontier. Is this yeah, Chocolate cool. Man? No, that's, I think it's like blood or something. Oh. But this boss is really annoying. Looks like chunk. I have the weakness for this guy. It was the, the, the um, grapple thing. The grapple thing I just got. But every time you attack him, unless you do it in a very specific way, he'll go back underneath Ooh. every single time. This only takes one. Oh. Huh. But I, I don't want to get hit by it. And also, a fully charged um, shot takes five damage, so it's pretty good. This boss seems that annoying. Also, this game has terrible slowdown. Do you see how it's slowed oh down? Oh my god. There's one particular, one of the sub-bosses that g slows down hardcore. Why did the one hit and the one didn't? Uh, he was doing a charge attack where he eats a shot. <laughs> this, these strats... Stand there. Okay. <laughs> Explosion! He was super we'll nice. See in ten minutes, he usually goes down like five times, and it takes forever. That time oh. he just did nothing. RNG, 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 RNG God. Thank you, based butt. RNG gods. Did you see that Worcester got the new Pokemon Blue record? Wait, did he really? Yesterday? Oh yeah. man. I need to. One five five just... now. Oh, what was it before? <laughs> One five eight. Oh gosh. And it got like... it got beat by two minutes, so you had to beat his record by three minutes, and he did it. After about two weeks. Dude, that's amazing. And, like, how probably, like, he has a, 500 resets. Yeah, I think his total resets now are 11,000. Yeah. Are blue and red, um, significantly different for running? No, blue, the only advantage is that you get the Paris and, uh, Story Mount, matters. You get the Paris and Mount Moon, um, which is a good cut slate, but other than that, they're almost identical. Hmm. 
What am I doing next? Bubble is guy. there any way to, that he can optimize it even more? Because I feel like that game is so optimized. He had a split where he was plus two minutes, so he can get a one five three or one five two. That's. I'm but gonna... he he won a record by saying like, please, no one beat this. I don't want to come back to this game because <laughs> he has so many resets. Granted, I mean, nobody's gonna follow that. They're gonna be like, if I want to beat it, I'm gonna beat it. But yeah, eleven thousand resets. Oh my. God. If I could beat it, I would be just a trolling. Ooh. This guy I'm just gonna ignore. Yeah, ignore the fish. Don't you have to, like, kill him or something? Not really. Yeah. Uh, ignore sucks. the fish. Because I have to get this heart piece first. Say yes to the dress. There we go. Ooh. Right in. I think this is another heart piece where you're supposed to have the leg upgrade, but uh -huh. oh, you can uh -huh. do it in that weird way. Cares about doing it for real. Or you, you get it with the bubble upgrade, or the, the bubble weapon you get from this thing, which lets you jump higher. I'm gonna have to do this level again to get the energy tank, because I can't get it right now. There's this one trick in this game called like the double liberty jump. I was talking to Spencer about this, where um, it's, it's, it's a super precise trick um, that I cannot do, but you can double jump in this game um, with the charge shot and like dashing and stuff, and I cannot do it at all. But if you can do that, you don't have to revisit this level. And trust me, I tried it for so long. I didn't even get it one time. <laughs> That's at that point where you're like, I give up. Yeah. I was not gonna, like, sit there for hours and be like, we're gonna do this trick. Maybe I'll, I'll post it. That was week. like me when I freaking worked on that Banjo-Kazooie thing. Do you remember that in Rusty Bucket Bay? Where I was like, guys, oh, I swear. Yeah. But it, re it required no skill. It was just of like, when do I give up? Yeah. <laughs> I remember when we were doing that. You guys were like, what are you talking about? This isn't a thing. And I was like, I swear to God, it's a thing. I did it. It's weird. Stiv does it really easily. I don't know how he does it. I guess i just playing the game for a million hours. Yeah. yeah. It's just get a feel for it. Dude, that What's this guy's name? Like bubble crab or something. <laughs> bubble pincer crab man. Bubble butt. Yeah, he is. You hear that, guys? Brennan says, why don't you friggin' work out some more? That was mean. But I'm he was talking mostly to me. I'm sorry. Sorry, Brennan, son. I'm sorry. Have I failed at thee? Mm, yeah. So, Brennan, what? Is that thing from a girl, really? No. Bye, Spencer, forever. Bye, Spencer. Good poker face. Give me water, Spencer. Huh? Water plucks. Water plucks. <laughs> That's it, I quit. I'm John John. The end. I'm sad. The new guy's alright. I is he, he he's funny and he's way better at games than John. Oh. But he's, <laughs> well, that isn't that hard. Yeah. It's like, I put some in Nicole that's not that one. Height. It's fine. Yeah, you don't have to be like the best. Like, some, sometimes it's okay to if like. Oh, uh, like, so this is the level with the first of the the three sub bosses. Uh, this one's definitely the easiest, which is why I want to do it right away. I hate these sub bosses so much. They're they're difficult. Yeah, like you don't have to be like the best when you do a let's play. Like you don't expect to like. Like, a lot of the world record speedrun guys, like, I, I think Stimmy doesn't talk at all. And, like, I don't he think does. Sig... He does. Talks he talks a little bit, but... And, like, Sig Lemmick probably doesn't talk that much, right? Sig is a huge tool. He try. He doesn't... He barely talks, but... It seems like he actually... does he talk more now? It seems like he actually is a huge tool. Yeah. I don't like him. I don't know. At least he's fun to watch, I guess. Cause we I mean, he's super good. I mean, I won't deny that yeah. he's the best at Super Mario 64 by a lot, but... Um, Worcester's so fun to watch because he's got so much information in his head. Yeah, and, and he's funny too. And he's yeah, and he's, he's like a freaking crazy Australian. He's like he's like <laughs> he gets, he's yeah, like, Mike. He gets angrier than me. Actually, maybe not. I don't know. He does throw things. He, oh, he, I haven't thrown anything yet. Oh, if you see that, I can shoot off both things right away if I'm on the wall. Oh, cool. I don't know if that's like a glitch or something. They didn't intend it to be like that. Yeah. I took one when I hit you. Yes, these beam things don't take a lot. If he hits me with that, that it, it takes, takes like more. two or three. But yeah, you just stay on the wall 
to like for him to do more of the upwards beam things and then you just slide down and then do that. This boss is easy. The one that I remember specifically is the um, the, the other two are hard. Who who's the, the one is the um There's one there's like with a the wrecking ape, ball or whatever. Yeah, he's an ape with a wrecking ball. And the other one I don't even remember, but I assume he's hard as heck. Story. Why are there three of him? Uh, each one carries a zero piece. You get the head, the torso, and the legs. Basically, in this one, a zero zero died in the end of the first game. Again. Um, yeah, he dies a lot of times. And, like, he's not dead, but his parts are scattered around, and these guys pick them up, so... Um, you have to pick them up from these guys. If you don't uh, take them back, you have to fight zero later in the game. Oh, are you ever doing... And what doing, is more... Um, well, I guess if you're doing 100%, you have to do it anyway. Are you ever doing X6? If, or is that <laughs> maybe. A, maybe. That's maybe. just a big old maybe. If I really want to do it with X, but I don't think I can. <laughs> oh, yeah, this boss. Brete cool. Do you remember this boss? Yeah. Its weakness um, cripples man. him. <laughs> yeah, that... That's All you have to do is jump over that thing. Oh, he's against Tom. the wall. I just have to jump. Corner then... trap! Wow. Yeah, this boss is pretty difficult. Oh. Oh. If you uh, if you don't do that. Because he yeah. jumps all over the He's one walls. of the hardest bosses. Yeah. Yeah. Corner trap. Is... And once he goes below, like, he's at one third health. You saw that he turned blue. Yeah. Um, he gets, like, twice as strong, Dang. so. Because blue heat. Blue yeah, what I'm saying before is, like, when it comes to being a Let's Player, like, you don't have to be, like... Super good or super knowledgeable, as long as you have a good mixture. But if you're like, if you're like freaking, don't ever talk about the game, and you're the worst. Like the only reason you would ever want to watch someone that's really bad at the game is if like, it's somebody that's really cool. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like when ABGN pretends to be bad at games, and you're like, but ABGN rules, so I don't care. Butterfly moth. Moth morph. 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 You fight this guy. Well, you'll see. He's like in his cocoon for like two thirds of battle for some reason. Oh yeah, those creepy things. Yeah, this is like a junkyard. Uh... Wow, what? Yeah, how are you supposed to do that? I don't know. <laughs> you aren't. Yeah, this actually seems really weird in what you can do. This is the armor upgrade, and usually you get the arm and body upgrades the last because they're the most useful. So, what does this one do? That. Once you hit it enough, God mode. You get hit enough. Um, it'll charge up that. Oh, neat. I don't really use it ever. Can you use it on bosses? Mm, I think it might take like two damage or something. Oh, okay. It's pretty useless. Yeah, it seems it. Also, one thing I like about this game is that you see the the level design here is built around the dash. Um, the dash was an optional part at X, so they couldn't build any of the levels. Like, you get in Chill Penguin right away, but they couldn't build any of the levels to have the dash. Because, how are you supposed to know that it's supposed to be Chill Penguin first? Yeah, that to is get true. it. So, they, none of the levels are built around the dash in the first game, which is something that bothers me a little bit. <laughs> no, that is a good point, though. I, I never really thought about that. Because, of course, you're going to get it. And most people, in fact... I'm pretty sure everybody goes to Chill Penguin first who actually plays the game, you know. Yeah. Because <coughs> playing the game without the dash is like, but why? Hold on. I'm just grabbing these to um, boost up my tank. How's the final boss, aka not Sigma, in this Well, game? you'll see what happens with this game. Uh, basically, it's sort of like X5. It can be extremely difficult or extremely easy. There's no in-between. Huh. I'm excited to see this not Sigma boss. I bet it isn't Sigma. It probably isn't. Because Sigma died at the end of one, right? Yeah, I think he did. Yeah, how could he possibly come back? Yeah, who could he possibly come back? Ever. It just doesn't seem possible to me. <laughs> Can't you do that that yeah. act, that uh, LMR Gets thing up to switch? Dead already. Yeah, you can, but I like I like just pausing it. It it wastes like a second, but I don't care. Word. 
Also, there's sometimes when you're charging up the buster, like if you accidentally go towards the rock move or the bubble move, you can't change your weapon anymore because the charge up things like lock it into place. Oh. That's why. That's mostly the reason why I do it. Huh. Give it that S burner, dog. Super burner. <clears throat> Straight burner. I don't know. Oh, look at that, he's burnt. That is some weakness, I tell you. Oh. Yeah. How did that not hit? Pineco. That's what this guy reminds me of. Yeah, a little bit. Except it hasn't self-destructed yet. Yeah, he doesn't shed off his cocoon until now. It's so weird. And you only have to hit him with two charged up, uh... Straight burners or whatever they're called. Oops. This is another boss that if you don't have the weakness, is pretty hard. Seems it. That that sound effect when the boss gets hit, that boom. No, no, just the one where he gets hit normally is so oh. fast. Boom. Da 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 da. Ching. Ching. Chingity chong. What's next? Mm. Oh, the next Dude, level is kind of fun. Look at that friggin' pen. Look at that friggin' ostrich. 